हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर पावर बी आई चैनल हेयर वी आर कवरिंग डैक्स फंक्शन इन दिस सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस टूटोरियल गाइज वी हैव स्टडीड सम टाइम एंड इंटेलिजेंस डैक्स फंक्शन एंड नाउ इन टू डेज क्लास गाइज वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न मोर अबाउट सम मोर टाइम एंड इंटेलिजेंस डैक्स फंक्शन सो हेयर आर द टॉपिक्स गाइज विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन टू डेज क्लास सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस पैरल पीरियड डैक्स फंक्शन सो लेट्स गो टू द रेफरेंस पेज and understand the definition first it returns a table that contains a column of dates that represents a period parallel to the dates in the specified dates column in the current context with the date shifted a number of intervals either forward in time or back in time and here guys we have just three parameters dates number of intervals and interval and under interval guys we have just only year quarter and month here is no day in the interval it is very much similar like date at dax function so let's go to power bi desktop and apply this dax function so here is our practical page guys where i have taken table visual and under table visual guys i have taken date column total sales and i have taken one slicer here and this is the total sales and as i said guys this function is really much similar like date at dax function we can also see the comparison of the previous sales or the upcoming sales and now let's apply this dax function so firstly i will go here on new measure and under new measure guys i will rename this measure name as parallel period and now i will write my dax function with calculate so firstly i will enter calculate dax function guys and under expression parameter guys i will simply take sum of total sales which is from new table and close the bracket and put it comma here and under filter one parameter guys i will take parallel period dax function because i want to compare the sales of previous month so under date parameter guys i will simply take date column which is from new table comma and the next parameter is number of intervals so i will take minus 1 here because i want to compare the sales of previous month and the next parameter is interval so here we guys can see we can compare the sales of month quarter or year here is no day format in interval so i will take month this time and close the bracket and hit enter so here is our dax function guys and now let me drag and drop it here and here you guys can see it's displaying blank so let me scroll it down and here you guys can see it returning the previous month sale so the previous month sale of january is 193685 and now let's compare so here is our date slicer guys and now if i expand this quarter 1 and click on january so the january sales is 193685 so here january sales is 193685 which is totally correct and let's suppose guys you want to see the sales of next month so you can remove this minus 1 and add positive 1 and close the bracket and hit enter so here you guys can see it displaying the next month sale so the fab sale is 143229 and now let's cross check so here we guys can see the fab month sale is 143229 so in this way guys you guys can change the intervals either forward in time or back in time so i hope guys now you are clear with this function of parallel period and now let me go here in formula bar and add it this minus 1 and hit enter and now guys i will apply date add function to compare the parallel period and date add and we'll also cover few differences of dated add and parallel period so let me copy this formula and now i will go here and click here on new measure and now let me paste it here and let me rename this formula as date add and from here guys i will also change the formula so instead of parallel period guys i will use this time date add and hit enter so here is our measure guys which name is date add and now let me drag and drop it here and let me expand this table and firstly guys i will take this card visual and copy this visual and now i will remove this field from here and now i will add date add function here and again i will copy this visual and this time i will take 
parallel period. So I will go here and rename this. So this card is representing parallel period sale and this card is returning date add. So let me rename this as date add. So here we guys can see here is no difference between parallel period and date add. The total value is same of both the DAX function which is 3807092. And now let me scroll it down. And now here we guys can see the difference. So the parallel period function guys it returning the total of the month which is 193685. But date add function guys it's not returning the total of the month. This function will give the duration but will you select. So if I click here on January sales guys. So the January sales is 193685. So let me click it here. So here you guys can see the answer which is 193685. This is the total of January sales. And now let me uncheck this. And let me scroll it down. So here you guys can see it returning day by day comparison. So the first of January sale was 8484. And the second January sales was 3399. And now let's cross check. So let me scroll up. So here we guys can see the first January sale is 8484. And the second January sales is 3399. So in this way guys, this parallel period function and date add function works. It returning day by day sales and it returning the total of the month sale. But the output would be the same which is 380 So I hope guys now you are clear with the difference of date add and parallel period. And under parallel period function guys here is no interval of day. You guys can clearly see here. But in date add dax function guys here you can see the day option in the intervals. So this is the second difference guys between parallel period and date add. So I hope guys now you are clear with both the difference of date add and parallel period. So in this way guys you can change the quarter, year, day or month. And now let's move towards the next dex function of our today's class which is previous day. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It returns a table that contains a column of all dates representing the day that is previous to the first date in the dates column in the current context. And here we have just only one parameter which is dates. So let's go to the power bi desktop and apply this dex function. So with the help of previous day DAX function guys we can calculate the sales of previous day. So here you guys can see the previous day is 1st of January which is 8484 and now I will apply this DAX function. So simply I will go here and click here on new measure. And let me rename this measure name as previous day. And now I will write my DAX function with calculate. So under expression guys I will again take sum of total sales which is from new table comma and here I will write my DAX function which is previous day and here we have just only one parameter. So I will simply select only date column here which is from new table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here is our measure guys and now let me drag and drop it here. So here you guys can see it returning the previous day sale. So the 1st of January sale was 8484. You guys can clearly see here. And if you calculate the 3rd January, so the previous day is 2nd of January. So that's why here it's returning 3399. So in this way guys, you can compare the previous day sale with current day sale. And now let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class which is previous month. Which is exactly same to the previous day. But instead of day guys, I will take month here. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It returns a table that contains a column of all dates from the previous month based on the first dates in the dates column in the current context. And here we have just only one parameter which is dates. And now let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function to see the previous month sale. So firstly I will go here and copy this DAX function. And now I will click here on new measure. And now I will paste it here. And instead of previous day guys, I will replace with this previous month. And here I will also take previous month. And hit enter. So let me expand this table. And here is our DAX function guys and let me drag and drop it here. 
So guys, I am removing this parallel period field and date add field to see the better view. So here we guys can see it displaying the blank sales because we have no data of 2021 of December. That's why displaying blank here. And if I scroll it down, so here you guys can see the previous month sale is 193685, which is the January sales. You guys can also cross check from here. So the January sales is 193685. So in this way guys, you can use this DAX function of previous month. And now let me uncheck. And now let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is previous quarter. So which is exactly same like previous month. And here we have same definition guys. It returns a table that contains a column of all the dates from the previous quarter based on the first date in the dates column in the current context. And again, we have just only one parameter, which is date. And now I will go here on Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So firstly, I will go here and take new measure. And now I will paste this measure here. And now let me rename this measure name as previous quarter. And here I will also change the measure name previous quarter and hit enter. So here is our measure guys. And now let me drag and drop it here. So as I said guys, we have no data before 2022. So that's why it's displaying blank. So the data starts from this January 1, 2022. So let me scroll it down. And here you guys can see the previous quarter sale is Jan, Feb, March. And now let me click here on this quarter 1. So the quarter 1 sale is 529416. And now let me uncheck and scroll it down. So the quarter 1 sale is 529416. So in this way guys, you guys can calculate the previous quarter sale. And now let's move towards the last DAX function of our today's class, which is previous year. So the definition is exact same guys. Instead of quarter guys, we will take this year. It returns a table that contains a column of all dates from the previous year, given the last date in the dates column in the current context. And here we have just only two parameters, dates and year and date. And this parameter is optional guys, so we can skip it. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So I have already copied this measure. So I will simply go here and click on new measure. And now let me paste the measure here. So instead of previous month guys, I will take previous year. And here I will also change the DAX function, which is previous year. And hit enter. So here is our DAX function guys. And let me drag and drop it here. And I am removing this previous month and previous quarter. So this is the previous year DAX function guys. So here we guys can see the previous year sales is 204487. So we have two years of data, which is 2022 and 2023. So it displaying the 2022 data. And now I will go here and click on 2022. So here we guys can see the answer is 2043847, two which is totally correct. So in this way guys, you guys can use this previous year DAX function. So I hope guys, now you are cleared with all the DAX functions of our today's class. So do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connect with us and kindly support this channel. And if anyone wants to learn free Power BI from scratch, so here we have this free YouTube channel guys, which name is Power BI Full Course by Shubham. And under this 50 tutorials guys, I have explained each and every concept in detail. And those who are visit first time on this channel, please kindly hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to press this bell icon guys, else you will miss an update. And for the job seekers guys, we have this free telegram group where I'm keep posting latest Power BI jobs opening and you will also find some latest interview question and answers. So you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and training. But if you still think you required paid training sessions guys, so I am also providing one on one paid training sessions. And from day one class guys, I prepare for you interview rounds and some scenario based questions. So you guys can connect me on LinkedIn or Telegram channel. Both the links are given under the description box. And for the free learners guys, we have this free YouTube channel. So keep learning and keep growing. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.